Chris, you've just painted for us a picture of establishing contact, building relationships, nurturing relationships, and then introducing the intentionality of inviting the young people for a weekend retreat where they're you intentionally and expressly introduced following Jesus Christ. Yeah. Can you give us a picture of what that weekend looked like, really quite grandly from we're getting in a van, we're yeah. in a bus, we show up. What does that weekend look like? Okay. That's, so these weekends, we've now done 25 of them. Um, and we, it's a lot of volunteers. So we want ratios of about one to three young people. So if we're taking 50 young people away, we need to be taking 16, 17 volunteers with us as well. Um, we, we, it's self-catered uh, and it also has to be affordable. So for us as a church, because money should never ever stop any young person hearing the good news of Jesus. It means as a church, we have to sub this something big time. But you know, church budgets reflect your theology. They're just your theology in, in figures, aren't they really? And your commitments. So uh, each weekend away costs us, as a church, about £2,000 because we don't charge any young person more than about £5 for it. And we do, all the, we do all the letters beforehand, all the permissions, those kind of things. We take them away, we go to a scout centre uh, because it's cheap and we can't trash it. Um, and we introduce things really quickly have first on. So first night, Friday night, there's a time of uh, praise and worship and there'll be a short talk and then there'll be a games evening. Um, again, we know, mo we know these young people. We don't tend to take young people away that we haven't already got an established relationship with. We've done lots of things beforehand about like ground rules, about no drugs on you or in you, about, that kind, about what's expected of them. So they know what they're coming to expect on and they've signed up for that. And they also have signed up to participating in this. N not as we, I've just said, not, not that they're going to agree with everything or going to be made forced to do anything they don't want to do, but, but that they're going to be part of discussions which are going to discuss what the claims of Jesus are. Now, what we're getting to at this point uh, in our life as a church is that other young people are now doing these talks rather than, you know, wheeling on an adult who's got a great, you know, out back, back of the pocket talk. Like, this is young people talking to young people. So we do, like, sessions, you know, a Friday session, a Saturday morning session, a Saturday night session, and a Sunday session. Um, and then we do seminars as well. We do, like, little kind of breakout things where we'll try and talk about things that these young people do. So two of my young adult volunteers said, we need to talk about fathers. It, it's, fathers are a disaster for loads of our young people. Uh, and these two ha had had terrible, terrible family uh, backgrounds with their own fathers. So they said, can we lead a seminar about, to these boys who are coming about what their fathers uh, and how the impact of their fathers on them. And so out of 42 boys, uh, 40 boys came to that seminar. Um, and it turned out that only two of them lived with their fathers. Uh, nine of them had never met their fathers. So just in those kind of things, opening up safe places for these young people to talk about things that they don't, not, don't have anywhere else to talk about, where they, where they can talk about disordered eating, where they can talk about body image, where they can also enjoy themselves, play games. We play lots of games. We have lots of fun. Um, and we try to show them what, what a Christian life is and the impact of following Jesus Christ on their lives. 